Hi, this is Petey from Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and I've had a question on how to install a Java extension on SmartFox server. So I thought I'd quickly just go over that. Now I'm going to be using Eclipse. Uh, there's also NetBeans. Both are explained in the Java doc or the uh, SmartFox server uh, documentation on how to install them. But I'm just going to quickly run over how to do one in Eclipse. So first you're going to want to come up create a new Java project, uh, call it whatever you want, we'll just call ours test, uh, create it where you want it to save, I will save my workspace, um, save anything else, you want to make sure you create separate folders for the source and the class files, that should be good here, click next, now when you get to the Java settings, click on libraries, add external jars, uh, go to your SmartFox server. Well, we'll just go straight there. Applications. So you want to go into SmartFox server. Go to the server folder, lib. And then there's three files that I, I've always added. This one here, let me spread it out so you can read it. The JSON lib 2.1. Then holding down command on the Mac or control on Windows. You want to grab JSON and the JYSFS jar. Just open them, it adds them in for you. And that's it. Click finish. Now open that up, go into sources, create a new class, name it. This is call it test extension. I always generate Java docs. You don't have to. It's something I always do. Uh, you should put it in a package. We're just going to call this the test package. Uh, click finish. So there we go. We've got the basic of the extension made, but we need to extend abstract extension. Uh, did I spell that right? Okay, you want to click the little arrow, import it. That will give you the import for the abstract extension, but you notice there's still a, a little arrow icon here. There's three methods that you have to implement. You can just get it to add those automatically. Okay, we'll save it. That will automatically compile our class files for us. Let's just hide that. I've already got the folder open for my server here, so let's go find the Java extensions. Now what you want to do is open up, this is where we saved our test here. This is something else I'm working on, so we'll just ignore that for now. now open up the test folder, go into the binary folder after that, take the test package. I've already got one in there. Let's get rid of this one first. Take the test package, drop it right in there. Now you'll want to open up your config file and add that as well. So I'm just going to add it to the last room that I have here. I'll expand it a bit so it's a little re easier to read. I'm just going to cut and paste. We're going to call this test x. Now here you want to add a fully qualified name of the class. So for ours, we put it in test package. Open that up, and then there's the name of the extension we want to have. So you add a period, then test, whoops, test, x, Attention. Save it. Close that. Just click Reload Zones. Mm, it didn't load, so I did something wrong, which is fine. We'll just go over to the logs. Uh, here's the error problem loading test package extension error. 
could not find it. So let's make sure we typed it right. So we'll go look at it again. Extension, test package. I just for sure. Cut and paste. Test package. Test extension. Save it all. Let's reload the zone again. And there we go. There's your test extension. And that's how you install a Java extension to SmartFox Server Pro. Hope this helps anyone. And if you have any other questions, just add a comment below or just send me an email. Thanks. Bye-bye.